You mean it wasn't rolling? Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to do a Hong Kong style soy sauce chicken with Kikoman. Now a lot of people like this soy sauce chicken. It's very very popular, right? A few years ago we even have a hawker who won a Michelin star with soy sauce chicken. But you know why a lot of people don't cook this at home? Because the thought of having to braise one whole chicken in a pot and then you think, wow, I have to make so much of the braising sauce. Ah, it's just too difficult. The trick to making this whole dish easier to make is that we're going to cut the chicken into half. But when you cut the chicken into half and you try to braise it, uh, what will happen is the skin pulls back and then you get a very ugly, wrinkly skin, right? So this is the hack. What we're going to do is pour hot water over the chicken skin in order to tighten the skin. And once the skin is tightened and stretched, then we half the chicken. So as you can see, once the hot water hits the chicken, you see how that skin just tightens up. Okay, once it tightens up and then after that it cools down, the skin will be set. So when you uh, cut it and you braise it, it will still stick onto the flesh of the chicken. So in that way, you can open up the chicken and then you can cook it with less braising liquid. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rinse it with cold water and then we're going to cut into half. I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. You can use a knife if you want, but I find that a pair of scissors sometimes is easier. You want to cut along one side of the backbone because uh, it's not easy to cut through the backbone. After you've uh, blanched the skin, the skin won't pull back as much. And it's easier to handle because you don't have to flip it over uh, when you cook halfway. At this point, get rid of all that stuff and make sure that the inside of the chicken is washed really, really thoroughly. And if you can, you can throw a bit of salt there and just give it a good rub. That will improve the flavour of the chicken. And now we're going to rinse it and make the braising sauce. Okay, so the first step is to caramelise the sugar. I'm using uh, raw sugar today. You can use rock sugar, you can even use white sugar if you don't have raw sugar. But I feel that raw sugar tastes a little bit better and that's what the Japanese uh, like to do. I'll just throw in a little bit of water. So it will help to dissolve the sugar while it caramelizes. So you want to caramelize the sugar to uh, give it a nice colour to the braising sauce. And also caramelizing will give it a nicer flavour. As you can see, it's uh, caramelizing nicely. Look at the colour. It's nice and syrupy now. If you want the colour to be darker, you caramelize longer. Once it's nicely caramelized, we add in the water now. And then we're going to add in one cinnamon stick, two of the star anise. If you want a complicated herb recipe, I have another recipe online. So you can check out the other recipe. But the most important is you need to have a good soy sauce. So we have Kikoman soy sauce and I'm very happy to promote this soy sauce because I love the fragrance. So I, I like to use Kikoman because uh, it's a naturally brewed soy sauce. It's got only four ingredients in there. Soybeans, wheat, salt and water. Nothing else, no other additives, no added MSG, nothing. It's naturally brewed so you get a nice aroma. Also some sake, some mirin, some dashi powder. Last but not least, we got to add in some rose wine because I like the aroma of rose wine. So we'll bring this to a boil and we simmer it for a while so you can boil away some of the alcohol and then the flavour of the star anise and uh, cinnamon stick can infuse into the liquid. I just love that aroma, you know, it's a very familiar aroma. Even though kikoman is a Japanese soy sauce, but you know, a lot of the local chefs, they actually have kikoman in their kitchen. A lot of the stuff you eat out there, you have this distinctive flavour, it actually comes from the kikoman soy sauce. We're just gonna put our chicken gently into the braising liquid. The braising sauce, just nice to submerge the chicken. So the main thing is to make sure that all that skin is in contact with the soy sauce so that it has that time to infuse the colour and the flavour into the chicken. So by doing it this way, it's much easier than how my mum used to do, which is using a big wok, big chicken, and then not enough braising sauce because nobody can afford to fill a whole wok full of braising sauce, right? So what she had to do last time was to flip the chicken halfway through. 
And then, you know, when the chicken is so big, how do you flip? You use two chopsticks and then you try to... So we bring the braising sauce to a boil. Okay, and once it's boiling, you want to turn it down to a low. And just allow the chicken to simmer. This drop lid will help to uh, keep the chicken down. When the sauce bubbles, right, it will help to bathe the chicken from the top. If you don't have a drop lid, don't worry. You can easily just do this and just bathe the chicken with the sauce. Okay, this is just to colour the chicken from the top. To make the soy sauce chicken even better, I'm going to show you how to make a nice ginger and shallot dip. So we need uh, three scallions. We're going to cut off the white parts of the scallion first. Chop this into small pieces. White put into one. The green. Okay, so next we need to have some ginger. And when it comes to ginger, if we can get hold of an old ginger, that'll be good. We got all this ginger nicely grated. I just want to squeeze out all that extra ginger juice. Because if we put all this ginger juice in, the uh, you can't cook the ginger properly. What you want really is all the fibre. So you got nice minced ginger. You just need a bit of oil. If you want to add your ginger, add the whites. You do need a little bit of oil, okay? So just uh, bring it to a very gentle bubbling and then you can turn off the heat, okay? And add in the green. Add in a bit of chicken stock powder. Just a little bit of sugar, just to balance out the, the flavours. You don't want to overcook this, you don't want to brown it. You just basically want to heat up the oil and uh, bring out the aroma, that's all. Okay, so you got a really nice dipping sauce now for the soy sauce chicken. So the chicken's been cooking for about half an hour now. And it looks good. So we're going to bring it out of the pot. Look at the skin, beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to remove it from the pot. Okay, look at how beautiful the colour is. Nice and sort of bronze colour. We're going to just pour out most of the braising liquid. So we're going to reduce this sauce into a glaze and then we'll use it to glaze the chicken. When you're reducing the braising sauce into a glaze, right, the way to look at it is uh, to look at the size of the bubbles. So you know it's ready once the bubble becomes bigger. That's when the sugar in the braising sauce becomes more caramelised, becomes more sticky. So the bubbles will become bigger. Can you see the bubbles getting bigger? And then it's reducing. You know it's ready when uh, it becomes a nice uh, sort of a texture of uh, Gula Malaka. We're going to just glaze the chicken. We're doing this so that the, the skin will uh, stay nice and moist. Uh, it won't dry up. Now it's time to taste our soy sauce chicken. Look at that. It's nice and bronze. And we're going to add some of this ginger scallion oil. Mmm. It's just so, so lovely, so nice. That Kikoman soy sauce glaze gives it that nice umami, that fragrance and that sweetness. So Chinese New Year is coming, so maybe you can even cook this dish for Chinese New Year and surprise all your friends. Make sure you pick up a bottle of Kikoman soy sauce. Until next time, happy cooking!